It's 42. A few years ago, drones were mostly for hobbyists and kids, and now they're quickly becoming a cash cow. That's right. Drone pilots are in demand, and 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith found out there are ways to cash in. So, Matt, uh, what are some of the ways that people can make money off of drones? Well, the big difference between a, a hobbyist and somebody who's actually going to be making money is going to be a license, right? You do have to get licensed through the FAA to do a lot of the types of jobs that we're talking about. In, in one county, Monroe County, that is, they're actually getting ready to train people so they can do it, so Michigan people can cash in on what the jobs are coming into the industry for drones. Drones are booming, yes. How many people walk into the door nowadays? I have a busy day. You could probably have uh, 100 to 150 people walk through here. Inside Excel drones, you see tons of tech. The buyers used to be hobbyists these days. The majority of the sales these days are going more towards the commercial uses. Which is why all of a sudden, guys like Adam Nags. And I'm only going like 15 miles an hour. Are in high demand. Every situation where we, we put it up is different. He's the drone instructor at Monroe County Community College. We're here because they just launched a training program. Jobs that uh, that would take hours that the drone can do in, in mere minutes. Nags is in law enforcement, so he's used a drone for years. But drones are moving far beyond police work and photography. Those are just two examples. Agriculture, uh, roads, uh, road inspection, bridge inspection. There are, the uses are basically endless. Which is why MCCC is launching their course. Four weekend days, 18 hours to prep you for a license necessary for the estimated 1500 drone jobs coming to Michigan over the next six years. You just give it a little bit and it's going to go. Nags is giving me a shot without the training and all of a sudden, well, I see why it's trained like, drone like operators are in demand. You're multitasking, that's for sure. All right, so Matthew, why do these people find drones so useful for their jobs? You mentioned agriculture. How does it help there? Well, so, so a good example is agriculture, right? Uh, uh, you, if you want to make sure that you get an aerial view of your crops in case there's an issue, if you find it early, you can possibly stem it from hitting the rest of your crops. Also, insurance claims, you have to take aerial pictures. What used to cost thousands of dollars, you know, renting a helicopter, the gas, the, the pilot, all that stuff, uh, now you can just fly up a drone. It is much less in cost, but those people that are in between, the people that are the pilots, well, they can cash in because there are going to be a lot of jobs like that. Uh, other ones uh, inspecting wind turbines, uh, going up and getting uh, views. Uh, they're police, obviously, a lot. Yeah. Uh, the jobs, really, it's kind of up to your imagination how far this stuff can really go. Yeah, we'll see where it takes us. A growing industry indeed. Thank you for that live update, Matthew.